I'm not certain how long it's been since it began. Maybe about four months since I first met up with Ron. I guess it doesn't matter how much time has passed when no one is left to experience it. Its passage is unbearable without you. It's been so long. You've probably forgotten. I wish that it was that easy for me. Try as I might, I cannot suppress the memories. Actually, what really made you jump back into my mind was a dream that I had last night. I should call it a nightmare. I saw you, flickering like a dying flame, invading me. You had your hair down, hiding your face. I wanted to see your face again so desperately. Though I know my memory of it is only a blur. You were speaking to me as I chased you. The words were distorted and disjointed. I tried hard to take them in. Only a few words were comprehensible. One in particular struck a chord. Fate. It echoed in my mind. It brought me way back. Before the invasion before everything fell apart. It was our time and nothing else mattered. Fate. That word woke up strange memories. I'm not sure why I even remember them. But I do. Remember how we would talk about life? The greater purpose? You were so headstrong you would try to persuade me to believe. <sighs> I thought it was funny, but you were serious. Well, I tried to plant these ideas into my head. For you, I tried many times, but in my experience I found that things just don't work that way. Looking at the world through your eyes, I saw nothing. When the invasion happened, all those foolish ideas vanished, along with everything else, really. There's no path for us to take. We're in the midst of chaos. The ways of the universe are incoherent, with no place for us. Come on, we gotta get out of here. So, my dear, I leave you with these words. I'm sorry I feel the way I do, but everything is beyond me.